What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steam Runner here, back with another race vlog and today is the day of the Sevenbridge Half Marathon. Right, so we have made it to Sevenbridge Half Marathon. Just walking up to the event village. I'm gonna go with the Unived vest. We had the forest vest, going with the Unived vest. It's gonna be a hot one today. Uh, what else is there to say? Strong race, smooth start, just like last time. Nothing stupid, nice and sensible. This man and this man are here today. Uh, Lee is not running, he's supporting, uh, and he's got his own run that he's going to do, which is going to be up and over the Seven Bridge, doing his thing, training for London Marathon. Logan's here supporting because Linda, Lee's wife, is over there marshalling. So yeah, we're going to crack on, get up to the event village, get the bib. We've got about half an hour before we've got to get out onto the bridge and get started.
Come on, Andy! Dig in now, come on! Last hill, last hill, and the finish. Fourth place finish, baby. Come on. Uh. Push. Push. Blasey hell. Come on. There we go. There we go, back in the car. Seven Bridge Half Marathon 2021 done and dusted in the bag, fourth place. I have never finished so high in a half marathon ever. In terms of placing finishings, that is uh, the best placing I've ever done. And it's a PB officially. So my last official PB was 117.30 something. 116.54 today. That was tough going out on that bridge. Out and back, out and back. That sapped the life out of me. So first of all, before we run through the race, a massive thank you to everyone that shouted my name out there. It was so great to like hear lots of you, see lots of you, cheer you on as well, just meet you all, talk to you at the end, whatever it was, it was fantastic. So thank you so much for giving up the time to watch the videos and then shout my name at the end. It's just epic, thank you. Um, and thank you to everyone else out on the course that I raced with and ran with, it was good fun. Although I've got to be honest with you, second half, was a bit of a time trial. Let's roll through the race. I've got my protein shake here, Univer protein shake, apple, of course, and then I'm gonna go home and have a roast dinner. So we start on the bridge, and I thought we'll start nice and conservatively. We'll let, you know, we'll just go with it. And then we I know we've got two up and overs, back and forth, back and forth, so four times, basically. Um, 554, 553 first mile. I haven't uploaded it to Strava yet, which is quite conservative. I thought, oh, okay, it's a bit, a bit slower than normal, but I felt controlled, I felt calm, and that felt good. I let a few people go and I sat back in seventh place. The leader just went off. He was phenomenally fast. I think he ran a 71, which was insane. Second and third place went off, and then I was in a group of, well, no, there was another two in front of me, and then I sat back from them. We went up and over the bridge, and I started to reel them in. Uh, and then we went, we sort of clicked over mile two and three. So that was up and down, down around a slip road and coming back up, I went round uh, fifth and sixth place or was it fourth and fifth? I can't remember. I overtook three people basically in that third to fourth mile. And then I sat in fourth place. Um, and I just sat there and I felt good, I felt strong, was listening to other people's breathing, all of that gubbins. Went back and went over the bridge, <clears throat> came round, did the zigzag at the end, sat in mile seven, starting the second loop out and I was I was in fourth the second and third place in front of me the first place was gone the second and third were about 500 meters in front of me by that point they were miles away uh the fifth and sixth placed guys were about 100 200 meters behind me at that point but it was a good gap so I thought okay just sit and hold I know the tough part is yet to come it's going to be on the way back over the bridge <clears throat> so I just got over the bridge nice and strong started to wind started to pick up, up at that point but got up and over the bridge maintained that gap between them maybe put a little bit more in there but not that much distance and then the last bridge climb hit uh we come up onto the bridge the wind really started whipping at that point that was about a mile ten and a half it was hard i felt like i was running through treacle i still ran a 604 mile somehow but i just felt like the other guys behind me were right on my tail but then i kept saying to myself no everyone's going through the same situation as you just keep plowing on keep pushing you're nearly at the top and then you've got the down 
Uh, so I did, I pushed on and I started to come down and I got to the bottom of the bridge at mile 12 or whatever it was a mile to go and as people were cheering and I said to them, is anyone behind me? I said to a chap on the side who I talked to at the end, sorry I completely forgot your name but I'll be seeing you next week at Cheltenham and I said, is anyone behind me? And he said, no, mile's clear. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Just relax, push it up the last hill and finish. And we came in in fourth place. I am genuinely buzzing. Such uh, I'm so happy from a result perspective that was such a tactical race and I know that I can sit and hold 545s now I feel like I'm confident to go and run at least a sub 75 at the moment which is a good start it's better than I thought I would be um, after that performance today up and over that bridge so yeah what a race what a result thank you all for your support it was just I'm so happy I'm so happy such a positive way to uh end the vlog so that's it seven bridge half marathon thank you to everyone else that's sending extra film as well appreciate it photos all of that good stuff you're amazing thank you for watching if you enjoyed today's race vlog give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and i'll see you on the next one until then